Dinosaurs, reptiles, dinosaurs, reptiles. What about both? Combination. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko. And today I'm bringing you guys an evil tile slash evil sword deck profile. And this deck got some brand new support in Duelist Nexus. It actually got a total of three new cards that are absolutely insane. And this deck has some crazy combos now with these brand new cards included. Now, before we get into this deck profile, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on the channel. You guys get deck profiles, combo videos, dual replays, all that good stuff it's right here on the channel now speaking of deck profiles and combo videos you guys are going to get both in this one video i'm going to be showing you guys a deck profile and then i'm going to be showing you guys a two card combo that you need to know that's absolutely insane and evo so if you guys do enjoy that make sure to subscribe to stay tuned in for more i don't want to keep you guys waiting for too long so with that let's get right into the deck profile all right, so just before we start things off with the deck profile, I am fairly new to this deck. However, I think this deck is super, super powerful. I think it's really fun and really cool to play. And the addition of these brand new cards give the deck a lot of different combo lines. Speaking of combo lines, I'm gonna be showing you guys a combo at the end of the video that plays through Droll, plays through Nibiru, plays through cards like Dark Ruler, plays through cards like Lightning Storm as well, which is absolutely insane. So that's why I think this combo is absolutely crazy. And uh, we're gonna get into that when we get into that portion of the video however we're in the deck profile portion right now so let's get right into the deck profile first things first is we're playing three evil saw rios as well as three evil tile full list these are the brand new cards from duelist nexus these cards are absolutely insane they provide so much power for this deck and full list over here is also really important because he's part of the combo that i'm going to show you guys later on so full list is really really powerful just to explain their effects just a little bit because they are brand new card evil saw rios essentially says that if it's normal or special summon you can set an evolutionary bridge or an evo singularity directly from your deck and then during your main phase if this was normal or special summoned by the effect of a fire monster you can send a fire reptile or dinosaur monster from your deck to your graveyard and then make two monsters on the field equal to that level so if you're sending a level four you get two level fours if you're sending a level six it becomes two level sixes etc etc so rios is really important in that sense full list is also just as important this card essentially when it's normal summon you can special summon an evil tile monster from your hand or your graveyard and face down defense position and that is still really important because that's how a lot of your combos go because the next effect says during your main phase you can set an evil force or an evil instant directly from your deck evil force of course if you guys don't know this card is essentially going to let you tribute one of your evil tile monsters to special summon an evil sore monster from your deck and then it can also be the face town monster that full is special summons which is really really important so these cards are really really important to the strategy now and i think you have to be maxing out on them another card that you have to max out on in my opinion is evil tile Najosho. Najosho is really important for the full list combo as well but on top of that it has a really powerful effect where if this card is tributed you can special summon an evil sore monster from your deck and it really synergizes very well with cards like evil force because this tributes cards to essentially get their effects off and then get its effect off that's where all the synergy kind of lies right so in a joe show is really important then we're playing the one Ilias. Ilias is kind of powerful but you only want to be playing one because you don't really want to see it in your hand you really want to be summoning this from your deck now it being a level six is good because you can go into rank sixes it has a cool effect where if it's special summoned by the effect of an evil tile monster you can special summon a level six or lower fire dino monster from your hand so this is kind of cool because it's kind of like an extender for you but it just is really important because what you're doing a lot of the time is you're summoning this off of your evo force and then using the Najosho in your combos that's how you're going to summon the rios and then you can adjust this level essentially to four or whatever you need it to be so the one of these is perfectly fine you don't really want to play more than one it doesn't do anything for you in hand so that's why you only want to be playing the one and then we're playing two of the volcano volcano is pretty cool where if it's no special summon by the effect of an evil tile monster you can special summon an evil sore monster from your graveyard so it's kind of like an extender for you but again you're only playing two because it's kind of like those mid to late game cards it's not one of those cards that's starting off all your combos then we're playing two of the evil tile mega listen i don't know how to say this name right but you're playing two of this guy this guy is pretty cool because you can tribute a reptile monster including himself and discard a card and then you can special summon a level six or lower fire dino monster from your deck and that's really cool because when that effect does come up that's how you get to cards like your elias and a lot of these other cards as well but the really cool effect with this card and i think where this card really really shines is you can 
can banish this card from your graveyard, target a dragon, Xyz monster you control with no materials, and then you can attach up to two reptile and or dino materials with different names from your hand or your graveyard to that monster, right? So it becomes really, really powerful because if you have your Lars with no materials, your Dolka with no materials, your Lagia with no materials, essentially this is going to make your Lars, your Dolka, and your Lagia alive again, even your Solda as well, right? So this card is always going to be able to keep those big negates on your side of the field and keep them having materials under them so that they can continue to be accessible and usable, right? Whereas typically when you use Dolka's both materials, it's kind of just dead. This card is going to put back two more materials on it, which is insane, right? Then we're playing a small dino package. That's not the evil source stuff. We're playing the one Arco, one Tyranno, as well as one Misk. Misk is a card that you're going to want to send a lot of the time off of your Rios to make 204s because then you can banish Misk for one to summon your Arcosaur, and that's how you get access to your Conductor Tyranno. So it's a very small dino engine, but it's a very, very powerful one, right? And then for the spells, we are playing three Evo Diversity. Evo Diversity is really powerful. Essentially, it just says add an Evil Tire or an Evil Sword monster from your deck to your hand, and it's just a Rota. So like the fact that you can just be playing this as a Rota is really, really powerful. It does play into cards like Droll and Lockbird and stuff, but there are combos where you don't play into Droll. So if you go Evo Diversity, it's like, you know, you can still play around it even if you get Drolled at this point. And then another card is two Evo Force. Evo Force is really, really powerful, especially when you're searching it off of your full list. This is kind of why we're only playing two, we're not playing three. If you couldn't search this, I feel like you would be playing three because full list searches it. Two is perfectly fine. And it's one of those cards where it synergizes again really well with cards like your Najog Show, right? Then we're playing the one double evolution pill, of course, to get to our Conductor Tyranno. Two Evo Singularity. This card actually isn't horrible to draw. Like if you draw it, it's not too bad. But I do like playing the two because this is kind of like your turns two, turns three kind of card that can help you keep pushing. So that's why I think it's really powerful because you're going to be searching one a lot of the time off your combos. But if you're not OTKing right there, then the second one does come in handy, right? So I like playing the two. And then three Fossil Digs just for more consistency. Of course, Fossil Dig can search you something like a miscellaneous as well. So that this way you don't have to, like, you know, let's say your combos get stopped, you have the misc, so you can use it from your hand, which is really powerful. So you guys can see six cards over here to search all of our monsters is really, really powerful. Three Pot of Prosperity as well. We want to see all of our combo pieces and we need to draw as much as possible. So you guys can see there's a lot of consistency. We have nine cards, just consistency cards over here. So we're always going to be able to see, or we're going to be trying our best so that we're always able to see all the combos that we need to see, right? So that's why we're playing the three pot of prosperity. However, I will say this deck, I think outside of the prosperity is pretty affordable. It's pretty budget. And I mean, you guys can cut some cards in the extra deck here. So if you guys wanted to cut the prosperity for more hand traps, I could definitely see you guys doing that. And that's just something I want to give you guys as well. It's kind of just that option for you guys, right? Then we're playing the one called by the grave, three Ash, three Imperm, and two Droll. This is just the hand traps that I'm choosing for today's format. I think these are the most important ones for today's format. Droll is really, really important. And that's it for the eight hand traps that we're playing here. All right. So that's it for the main deck. Again, guys, the prosperity is a little bit pricey. You guys can cut these. You already have six cards over here to search all the cards that you need so prosperity you guys can cut these for more hand traps or cards like you know that'll protect you or traps or even some of these cards that you guys are going to see in the side deck can now go into the main deck so just wanted to give you guys that option then for the extra deck we're playing the one zeus and again this card is cuttable it's just a card that i like to play because we're playing so many Ixies monsters but zeus of course solda two lars two lagia and two dolka these are your main boss monsters of your deck like lars and dolka are pretty much your go-to standard combo and you guys are going to see the combo is pretty much done just with a Folis and a Najosho. But keep in mind, if you open Fossil Dig, you open Evo Diversity, if you open one of these plus the other one, like you're always going to be able to get to these cards. So it's really, really powerful. Now, I know these two specifically are Reptiles, so Fossil Dig doesn't get into these two, but Fossil Dig does get into your Rios as well, which helps you combo, right? So that's the thing about this deck. It's like, even though it seems that like, you know, you have to open specific cards, all these cards like Evo Diversity, Prosperity is going to get you to those two cards that you need, which is really, really powerful. And then we're playing the one Baguska. This is just a card that I like to play it's one of those things where it's like hey i can't undone anything else let me slap a baguska on the board live until the next turn and then we'll be able to go off we're playing the one access code the one unicorn the one phoenix ip masquerade now secure garden and then Kribo. these i don't think need much explanation a lot of these are just utility cards over here then Kribo and secure garden are just really good for your pill and a lot of the time you need to use these because for your evil singularity you need an evil tile and an evil sword monster in your graveyard so you don't want to or ideally you don't want to banish the evil tiles and the evil swords you want to 
banish your Arcosaur and one of these cards over here, right? So just keep that in mind. Then for the side deck, again, I'm going to give you guys a quick side deck. However, side deck is always going to be based off personal preference. So if you're taking this to a locals and you know your locals is all Koshtar players, make sure you side for Koshtar. If your locals is all Pearly players, make sure you side for Pearly. However, this is kind of just a quick side deck that I put together that can show you guys essentially how you can build it to combat against pretty much everything in the meta. So I like to play the third Droll and Lockbird because some decks lose really hard to Droll and Lockbird and we're only main decking the two. So a lot of the time you can put in the third one into some decks and it's just really, really powerful. I like to play three Gamma Seal purely, of course, and just a lot of decks that put up boss monsters. I just want to get over it. I just want to not play around it. So Gamma Seal is really nice. Now, you guys could argue like, oh, why don't you play Dogoran? Dogoran is a fire dinosaur monster. Yes, but it doesn't actually synergize or through at least my testing, it doesn't actually synergize that well with the deck. And the reason I say that is because a lot of these cards need evil tile or evil sword names so it's like the fire dino doesn't really do anything on dogaran as well as dogaran's level eight and then for pill i was just thinking honestly having an aqua might be just be better for pill because you have more pill fodder right so that's just something i wanted to mention i don't think dogaran actually does anything specific for this deck except that you could argue there's another card in the side deck which is goes and match where if you're summoning your own dogaran because you kaiju your opponent let's say you open two dogarans right you kaiju your opponent you summon your own you can kind of play it with goes and match i guess but i don't know I don't see you siding in Dogaran and Gozing Match in the same time a lot. So anyways, Gamma Seal, and then we're playing the one Harpy's Feather Duster, two Lightning Storm, and two Cosmic Cyclone. I don't want to deal with back row, so we have all these cards to just deal with back row for us. I don't want to deal with it. Three Anti-Spell. I know we're playing a lot of spells that you guys can see. However, keep in mind, if you're able to do all of your combos and then set an Anti-Spell, it becomes really, really powerful. You're only siding this ever in going first, so you're going to be able to do all your combos anyways. Then you set the Anti-Spell, your opponent's turn, you flip the Anti-Spell, you have Lars, you have Dolka. That's going to be really tough for them to play through right and then three goes and match because most of our monsters that we're going to be ending on are fire monsters so goes and match just makes a lot of sense yes conductor is not a fire but if you're having goes and match on your side of the field and you're siding this into a matchup where they automatically lose and you're siding this into a matchup where they can't play through the goes and match i don't care about conductor i would sacrifice my conductor for a goes and match where it's an auto win anyways and all of your dino monsters here your lars your solda your lagia your doka are all fires so they work really really well under goes and match so that's why i really like the goes and match but again side deck is always up to personal preference all of these cards here i think are really powerful if you guys want to make it again i just want to say this because i know someone who might be wanting to pick up evil tile may not want to put the money down on a prosperity trust me i get it the card's pretty expensive however i just want to give you guys another option more options you guys can main deck the third jewel and lockbird i think that could be really cool the last two cards over here that you guys can be playing because this deck is pretty consistent on its own instead of playing two prosperity if you're playing the third jewel could be other hand traps if you guys want them to be could be generic traps could be goes and match in the main deck even if you wanted to be could be some habakro hate in the main deck maybe a harpy's feather duster and another board breaker card in the main deck so that you guys can have that so i just want to show you guys so many different options that you guys can be playing rather than the three prosperity however again i still like three prosperity if you guys have the access to them even if you have access to one or two try to play them because again the consistency in this deck getting to your combos is really really important but that's really it for the main deck and that's it for the deck i really want to show you guys this combo so let's get right into it all right, so getting into the combos of this video, I do want to show you guys a two card combo that's absolutely insane. This combo is going to end on five disruptions and it's going to be able to play through Nibiru as well as Droll and Lockbird, which is absolutely insane because those two hand traps are super prevalent in today's format. So let's get right into it. First off, we're going to start off by summoning our evil tile Folis, and then we're going to be using the Folis effect to special summon our Najosho over here. So we're going to summon the Najosho, put it in face down defense position. Then we're going to activate the second effect over here so that we can set an evil force directly from our deck to our side of the field now keep in mind this is very very powerful because you're not searching any cards so this is why you're playing around something like droll which is insane right what you're gonna do now is activate your evil force tributing the face down to Joe show because it has been face up so people know that it's a face down it's public knowledge it's just it's a it's an evil tile card even while it's face down and then what we're gonna be doing here is we are actually going to be summoning our evil sword Elias over here so we're gonna summon our evil sword Elias and then what we're gonna do with our Nijo show is we're gonna activate its effect so that we can summon our evil sword rios over here all right then rios is going to get to trigger and what it's going to do is it's going to be able to set an evil singularity to our side of the field now this is really good because it actually helps us place through something like dark ruler no more as well because even if our opponent uses dark ruler no more we can then activate our evil singularity later and then get still some disruptions on the field which is really really nice right so we're going to set our singularity over here then we're going to use a rio second effect to dump a miscellaneous saurus to make these two monsters, your Elias as well as your Folus, level 4. So you're going to make this and this level 4 over here. And if you guys know that at this point, we've summoned once, 
twice is under Josho, three is under Elias, and four is our Rio. So on our fifth summon over here, we're actually gonna go into Dolka. So this is how you play around Nibiru. Now, technically you can go into Lagia here as well. I think going into Dolka is just a little bit better. So here we're gonna go into Dolka. And if you guys wanna play around something like Lightning Storm as well, you guys can put it in defense position. Now, I'm not gonna play around it right now. We're just gonna put it in attack, right? But potentially you guys could also be playing around something like a lightning storm if you're summoning this in defense then what you can do here is you can activate your miscellaneous source to banish one and the reason you're going to banish one here is because then you're going to get to your archosaur and then you're going to use the archosaur effect of course to pop the rios that's on our side of the field to get a double evolution pill so you can go straight into a link karibo into a secure gardena use the double evolution pill use the arco as well as the link karibo to make a conductor tyranno again you guys can put it in defense position to play around lightning storm Okay, so you guys have a little bit of everything, right? Because what we can do now is keep in mind, you guys have one, two, and three disruptions at this point. We're gonna wait till our opponent's turn. Now on our opponent's turn, if we're scared of something like Dark Ruler no more, you can hold the Evo Singularity. However, the reason I just wanna show you guys this now is because we can activate our Evo Singularity, summon Rios, summon the Josho, and then we're gonna be able to make our Lars over here. So this is a brand new Lars combo. And because the materials for our Lars here are Reptile and Dinosaur, it actually gets the effect where you only have to detach one combo card to activate the effect and this card says if your opponent activates a card or effect you can detach to negate that card so essentially what this card does is it's two negates and then you have two more negates on dolka plus the disruption on conductor tyranno so you have five disruptions playing through nib playing through droll playing through lightning storm potentially if you're putting this in defense position and then you're also playing around dark ruler no more because evil singularity if you're afraid of dark ruler will then summon it afterwards so it's absolutely insane because you're playing around so many meta relevant cards in today's format so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. That is my take on Evil Tile slash Evil Sword. I keep saying Evil Tile slash Evil Sword. Maybe just my take on Evo. That's my take on Evo. Evo. And this deck is absolutely insane with the brand new support from Duelist Nexus. Philos, Rios, as Lars are super, super powerful cards that make this deck ceiling super, super high. And it plays through cards like Nibiru, Joel and Lockbird, Dark Ruler No More, Lightning Storm, all of that good stuff. It plays through all those cards, which is absolutely insane. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on the channel. We do deck profiles, combo videos, dual replays, product openings, and we do shorts five days a week. So you guys at a minimum are going to be getting five videos, but it could be up to 10 videos in a single week. Make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned to all that. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.